Aleppo, the European influence is even more evident. But as European influence started to seep through, sometimes swamping, Islamic art forms, one particular skill has survived since the earliest times, calligraphy or beautiful writing. In Islamic belief, the central role is played by the revelation of the word of God, which is the Quran. And so from the beginning of the Islamic era in the seventh century, the recording of that became very important. By the eighth century, it's clear that um, a special way of writing Arabic had been developed that was subject to rules um, which were designed to make it beautiful as well as legible. And uh, that's, they're the rules that are behind Arabic calligraphy. Beautifully illustrated Qurans are among the most prized objects in the Muslim world. Ancient decorated Qurans have been known to change hands for huge sums. The art is still practiced enthusiastically today. This Sufi master calligrapher has many students who are eager to learn the finer points from him. They're trained for many years in the strict rules governing the different Arabic scripts in which the Quran is written. The training is often as much spiritual as practical. Copying and decorating Qurans was seen as a form of religious devotion. It became an honorable occupation, fit for a prince. Towards the end of the 17th century, it's the first time that the princes are actually taught to be calligraphers uh, from the time when they're children. So many of the sultans who came to the throne um, in the 18th and 19th century were actually trained calligraphers, and uh, a lot of uh, emphasis was given on that as a sign of being a gentleman. It's a sign of the civil bu bureaucracy uh, being in charge rather than the earlier periods when it was really the sultan's ability to fight battles that was more important. The sultans had official seals called Tughras. These were calligraphic devices used to authenticate official documents. In Istanbul today, modern Islamic artists are also using calligraphic devices in their art, but with a figurative twist. 